While most of us deal with road conditions, crews at Rochester International Airport have thousands of feet of runway pavement to take care of. Well, a crew of 14 works around the clock to ensure planes can safely land or take off. Our Uba Ali caught up with them to see what it takes to clear a safe path for passengers from point A to their final destinations. It's the first major snowstorm of 2020, and with the snow totals quickly adding up, crews at the Rochester International Airport have thousands of feet to cover. We have um, two main runways here. One is over 9,000 feet, the other is over 7,300 feet, and then you've got all the associated pavement with that. Each equipment um, has their own function, so there's plows, there's brooms, um, there's sweeper trucks, there's sanding trucks. They all have their own function for each piece of the storm. Rochester International Airport Operations Supervisor Troy Reed says his team gets out on the tarmac fairly quickly. More than a half inch, we like getting out there. Quarter inch or less is where we try and maintain. However, maintaining the runway is not as easy as it seems. Because there's a lot of coordination between our staff and the control tower and of course then the traveling public or the aircraft. You cannot use uh, salt on runways because it's corrosive to the airplanes. Um, so there's certain chemicals that can be used. And even when the commercial flights are canceled, the plows are still working hard. We have air ambulance life flight operations that could be coming um, with just a few minutes notice. So we need to be able to allow those aircraft access to our airfield 24 seven. All in an effort to make sure your loved ones make it to their destination. Our philosophy is is our family on that airplane? Is it runway in the best condition or can get it? In Rochester, Bali, KTTC News.